Raider Nation, what's going on? You guys are watching the Raiders Report. Remember, this was filmed on Tuesday, so if any other things that I say happens or stuff changes, please don't yell at me. To make sure that you guys never miss anything, hit that big red button that says subscribe. First Super Chats coming in from John Smith. We need to wrap up on tackles. That's football 101. Yeah, I mean, definitely there's been some times this year where the Raiders have struggled with tackling, but... Over the past two games, three games, I've actually been okay with the way that the Raiders have tackled. What I think is a little bit more interesting is how much the Raiders have done better in terms of coverage since Jonathan Abram hasn't been playing. But you're right, football 101 is the tackle. With two of the guys that are tackling machines right now, Denzel Perriman, Divine Diablo. Those are going to be your top two starting linebackers going into next season. And I don't really care what anybody says. Now remember, y'all, you got to use hashtag Raiders or Super Chat to get those questions, those comments up on the show. This next one's coming in from... Alex for Jester, if the Raiders beat the Chargers and make the playoffs, do you see the Raiders keeping Derek Carr? To be 100% honest with you, yes. I, I think if the Raiders make the playoffs this season and the way that Mark Davis has talked in the past, he's going to make the decision on D.C. I think he's going to go ahead and see all the drama that's gone ahead and went on. Uh, it wouldn't personally be the decision that I probably would make. At this point, I'm team move on from Derek Carr. Not that I don't like him. I just want to see it a little bit something of uh, of a change. But yes, I personally think that the Raiders would actually end up keeping him if they do, in fact, make the playoffs. This next one's coming in from Big Time Willie. Why we should keep Carr 29 game winning drives. Like, I get the idea of 29 game winning drives, but the other, we'll say, Achilles heel to that is that also means Derek Carr's been losing a lot of the times in the fourth quarter. And I don't want to just sit here and say that that's just Derek Carr because it's not fair. The defense has absolutely stepped up. I mean, his last game winning drive, the defense got to stop. There's one before that, the defense got to stop. DC deserves a lot of credit, and moving on from Derek Carr has absolutely, honestly, nothing to do with DC. It's the idea of me trying to build a more complete football team for the Las Vegas Raiders. So go down to the comments, y'all. Let me know who is your favorite Raiders player right now. If it's Carr, maybe it's Crosby, Hunter Renfro, Darren Waller. Please go ahead. Let me know who's your favorite Raiders player right now. Maybe it is Crosby. Appreciate the super chat. We got, imagine if we had won the games against Washington, Giants, and Bears. 12-4 and four record. Greetings from Switzerland. Raiders! Well, Max, you better get back to the U.S. We got a big game this week. Yeah, I mean, this is the part where when I did my season projection, I had the Raiders coming out with a 10-7 and 7 victory or 10-7 and 7 record because I literally said, the Raiders will win games that they're supposed to, and then they're also going to lose games that they're supposed to, so or that they're not supposed to. It's the way that this team is played, where sometimes they play up to their competition, and other times they play down to their competition. It just also goes to show that in every single week, anybody can beat anybody in the National Football League. That's all i got to say. Max, I appreciate your question. I also saw a super chat that came in a little bit earlier from 402's very own, which said, uh, actually, I can't really see it. Hang on. It said, Okay, 402's very own. Appreciate it. Mitch, I have read officers didn't submit a breathalyzer test. Also have read he will face no discipline from the league. What have you heard? So I think you're reading this from what I've seen on Instagram. I really wouldn't take a lot of the people that have talked about this on IG as credible. I agree. I have to wait to see on everything going on around Nate Hobbs. And if he didn't, you know, if he didn't fail a breathalyzer test, if he didn't have a DUI or if he shouldn't have had it, then yeah, you don't go ahead and punish him. But from what I've read so far, if it is true that he was in fact intoxicated, sitting in his vehicle with his keys in there, that is enough to get a DUI, then yes, you go ahead and you got to suspend him for a game. But that's just what I personally think. You guys can go ahead though and let me know. Remember, hashtag Raiders, or you can go ahead and super chat to get those questions or those comments featured here on the show. And to make sure that you never miss one of these mailbags, all you got to do is hit that big red button that says subscribe. Turn on those notifications as well, just because if there is breaking news around Nate Hobbs, if there's other breaking news that happens around this team, I'm also going to be doing a live show on Sunday for Sunday Night Football. Raiders up against the Chargers. Please do not miss it. I would be actually pretty devastated if you did. So see that sub button underneath? Make sure you go ahead and click that. Look at that. We are going to get the show started at 8, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 5, 10 p.m. Pacific. Raiders versus Chargers Sunday Night Football Watch Party. I don't want you to miss it. All right, I want to give some shout-outs here to some Super Chats that have come in. 
We got Josh Paul. If Makarov slips because of injury, do we take him? I do find this to be pretty interesting. I like Matt Corral a lot. Obviously, I think he's a, he was my number one quarterback. I personally don't think that he is going to fall because from what I've seen, according to x-rays, they all came back negative, and he's going to be okay. So we'll, we'll see how far, though, Corral goes. But I could actually see him going in the top ten. We got William N. Kennedy Jr. Appreciate you for the super chat. Lavalli Taller says, football discipline. We need to play near perfect football. You're not totally wrong, but... They also didn't play near totally perfect football against the Colts, and they still won that game. The Raiders have talent. Let's go to, uh, oh, this is the one I just said, which, again, I agree, but I also don't agree. Let's go to Jack Levine. Next one coming in here is from Jack, which I believe was keep Carr for 5 mil, one-year contract, and get him a stable season. So Carr's going to make 19.9. Derek's not going to say, okay, I'll do it for 5 mil. You're not going to get any quarterback in today's league up to Derek Carr's caliber for 19.9 million. The issue is this. If DC wants a contract extension, that's where I say I personally do not want Derek Carr and move on. And people that I talk to say that DC wants an extension and that he wants to go ahead and get paid more. Vic Tafer said five years, 180 mil. I'm not paying Derek Carr that type of money. And if that's the type of money he wants, that's where I say, okay, time to move on let's go to blue tiger why isn't deshaun jackson playing a bigger role and do you know what he said to Carr while he was uh motioning on a play no i do not know what he what he said to Derek Carr, but i also don't think that he's been the best fit in that offense i mean not that he's not fresh but he's sometimes used as a decoy and the raiders also just love zay jones who had a much better game this past week eight catches for 120 yards carcel has the chemistry with hunter renfro and the one time, I mean, realistically, you wouldn't have even asked this question if Carr wouldn't have missed Deshaun Jackson on that deep ball. If Carr actually hits Jackson on that deep ball, it's like a 60-yard touchdown, and then we're not really bringing this up that much. Let's go to Dinah 0311. The next game is on my wedding anniversary. Let's go just win, baby. Well, I'm going to have my fingers crossed that the Raiders get this victory, and I don't know, maybe uh, you're looking for a wedding gift for yourself. What about $125 for free to bet with? That sounds pretty damn good to me. Now, if you guys want to take advantage of the best betting deal on the internet, head on over to chatsports.com slash Raiders. It's the link that you see below. Promo code Raiders125 for 125%. Deposit bonus. All you got to do is put down $100. You get $125 for free. Bet on the Raiders. You can bet on any NFL game. You can also bet on the playoffs. Take advantage of this deal because, well, I don't know. It's a pretty damn good deal. All right, let's go to this next one coming in. Bigger super chat from Anthony Morales. We should keep Carr. I get it. He's having an up and down second half with a lot of turnovers and less touchdowns. He has no legit weapons besides Renfro and Waller. Carr right now is more clutch than anything. 30 game winning, more than halfway. Again, I don't like the whole, like, let's give all Derek Carr the credit. The defense deserves more credit than D.C., personally, in my opinion. Now, Carr made one hell of a throw to Hunter Renfro to end up putting them in that situation to win that game. That I agree with, and I get it. Until the season's over, we're going to keep on talking about Derek Carr. I like him, but at this point, my stance is this. If Derek wants a contract extension, I do not want to extend him. I would decide to move on and build a more solid team around him because, let's face it, They've tried to do the same thing for since 2014, and it has not worked. Maybe you just can't build a solid team around Carr. It reminds me a lot of what the Chargers did with Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers, good quarterback. They just couldn't win around him. Let's go to Gerald Morell. I respect you, Mitch, but you have to see that most of Carr turnovers are because of lack of separation by wideouts. Need Waller and a wide receiver one. I don't 100% agree, and I don't 100% disagree with what you're saying. Has the separation by the receivers been... Uh, lackluster, yes, it absolutely has. Brian Edwards can't separate. Zay Jones is on best, probably a wide receiver three on some teams, and we're using him a lot. So I don't fully disagree with what you're saying there. But also I know this, Derek has missed a lot of big-time throws that I would say he usually would make. And he's also missed a lot of throws that I think a lot of elite quarterbacks, top 10 quarterbacks, should make. Plus, on top of that, the offensive line has not played as bad, I think, as what a lot of people are giving them, or I guess I should say ripping on them for. The only offensive line that I've been really disappointed in has probably been Brandon Parker over the past few weeks, but I, I get it. We will continue to talk about Derek Carr. It's just the way that this show is going to be. I like DC. He's just not a top 10 quarterback for me, and at that point, why settle for anything less than that? So I appreciate everyone who got those questions in. I know Sam said something in my ear, but I'm not 100% sure what he said. I think he said read off some super chats. NV Vic, if Carr goes, do you think Mariota does too? Well, Mariota's a free agent, so the answer to that is yes. 
We have uh, Daniel. We got a super chat coming in from him. Okay, Mitch, something has to give. Herbert is killing cover three. We play cover three. So what are our boys going to do? I don't see Gus Bradley changing what he does. That's the one great and bad thing about Bradley. Bradley was stuck to his guns up against Kansas City, and the Chiefs dropped 89 points in two games up against them. Herbert also, I get it, has played pretty solid up against cover three. But I also know this. I don't really think that Justin Herbert played all that great the last time the Raiders went up against them. It just, they were down 21 nothing in the snap of a finger. Gus Bradley's going to do what Bradley does, and that's just as simple as that. Let's go to Sal Denzio. The Raiders need a wide receiver. Holy shit. Would you sign A.B. to help make a playoff run? Um, I think you guys know what my answer is going to be on this. I want every single person that comes across this show to just start spamming F.A.B. I don't want Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown doesn't deserve to be on an NFL team. He literally quit on the New York Jets. He literally quit on the Las Vegas Raiders. He literally was an asshole to the box, to the, or yeah, to, he quit on the box at, against the Jets. This guy's just a scumbag, so I'm going to say no. I want no part of A.B. Now let's get off of Antonio Brown, and obviously this is a big-time game, right? And if the Raiders win, they're in, and, you know, hell, I thought it was funny. I just quote-tweeted a guy before the show came on. Shout-out to Q on Twitter, who was like, I'm going to a Raiders game, uh, and my games that I've gone to, the Raiders are 8-1. I believe he DM'd me and said the only game that, he's, that they lost was the, was the note card game, which, I mean, that game was rigged. And there was at one point we were betting on a freaking coin, and now we're sitting here like, can the Raiders get in? So here's my question to all of you, a long, long thing here. What do you guys do for good luck? My family eats pork and sauerkraut. I don't know if it's just a central Pennsylvania thing to do, but that's what my family does when they're looking for good luck. My girlfriend's mom handed me $5 to put in my shoe. That's what they do, I guess, for good luck. So here's my question to you. What do you guys do for good luck? Because I need to know because I need the Raiders in the playoffs. Let's go to Cameron Sproul. Appreciate the super. Mitch, I say we keep Carr, but we draft the kid from Nevada to sit and learn behind him. I like Carson Strong. I've said before that I think he actually has the strongest arm in this year's class. Now, the only reason why I would go ahead and draft strong is if you then go out and get Brian Dable, and I've said this before because I think what Dable was able to do with Josh Allen really gives me confidence that he'd be able to work with somebody like Carson Strong. But there's a few quarterbacks where I'd say if you draft Malik Willis, Carson Strong, even honestly the kid from North Carolina, then I would rather have them learn behind Derek Carr. The only two quarterbacks that I will say confidently that I would be – Okay with them being able to come in and start day one. Matt Corral, Kenny Pickett. That's what I think. Well, let's go to Matthew Breckshot. Hey, Mitch, what do you think the score will be versus the Chargers? I know the Chargers are three-point favorites. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hope that the Raiders can come pull this one out. I'm going to say 27-24. to 24. That's been my score prediction the entire week. Now, obviously, some of this stuff can change, but until anything changes, I'm going to go ahead and say 27-24. Raiders are going to go up ahead and win. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and get your score predictions in for this game, you can go ahead and do so. If you guys want to go ahead and bet on a college football game, I don't know about y'all. I already went ahead and I put my money down at betuschatsports.com slash Raiders. Promo code Raiders125. Who do you guys got in this game? Number one, Alabama, or number three, Georgia? You can bet on this kind of stuff, which I encourage everyone to do so because it makes the game a little bit more entertaining. Even though I hate betting on Bama because it's kind of boring, I'm going to go ahead and bet on Bama to win this one. You guys let me know, though, who you got in the national title game for college football, which is going to be played on January 10th, which is a Monday. Type Bama or type Ugga. What up, Jose? As long as you rock the 57 jersey, we're good. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I mean, the last uh, four times I've worn the 57 jersey, the one that's black and white, the yin yang jersey. We've won. I'm going to wear it again. I'm going to wear my gray uh, leggings. I'm going to wear my socks that are black and white. I wear the same shoes. I've worn the same underwear every single game day. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to wear my chain. It's been working. And until it fails, that's what I'm going to wear every single game day. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, maybe you can hit me up on IG. I've posted a picture of this before. If I miss your question, again, I am more than happy to answer it. I know I saw somebody before say, like, dude, I can't believe you actually answer your DMs. I do. It definitely takes me. The more and more the show grows, the longer and longer it takes me to get through my DMs. But I promise you, I will get to it. So hit me up on IG, at MitchellRens365. And then I believe we had another super chat from CJ Alves that said, what's your opinion on how Leatherwood has been playing lately? 
He's been getting better. The ups and downs of Alex Leatherwood are why I am okay with him being the guard next season. You're going to be a little bit confident, and hopefully that he gets better like Andre James. Andre James was the worst center in all of football, and the way he's played over the past few weeks, he's actually been a top 10 center. Alex Leatherwood a few weeks ago had a pass grade of zero, literally zero, point zero, and he's been much better of late. Give him some time. He's an athletic player. He's a talented guy. It just sometimes takes a little bit of time to get acclimated to the NFL, especially when, again, the Raiders have dealt with a lot of BS this season. Let's go to a super chat coming in from Fadeaway84. It was awesome being at the Colts and Raiders game, hearing Raiders fans shout Raiders, and the stadium was awesome. Diablo is a stud. Di Divine Diablo is the real deal. I told you all that on draft night when I was like, hey, this kid is going to be able to do everything that you were hoping Jonathan Abram was going to be able to do. He's been a solid tackler. He needs to get better in coverage, which hopefully is going to come with time. But uh, very, very jealous that you were able to enjoy that game. And I'll be honest, I, was, uh, I, had, I had a pretty good time here on the Raiders Report as well. Let's go to a big-time super chat. And Rudiguff Productions, is, he sent in, I believe, what? This is like three straight weeks of a $50 super chat on the Raiders Report. Listen. The DCO got to disguise the cover three. So I think you're trying to say the DC. Got to disguise the cover three. Play some man. Send heat on offense. Let it all hang out. Go deep. Push the rock up the field often, including d -Jax. Roll the pocket. Got to get imaginative. Got to get imaginative. Yes. And got to get Deshaun Jackson involved more. I agree with that. Disguise cover three. I, I do agree with that idea because of how good Herbert's been. The Raiders probably aren't going to bring too much heat, though. They had a game, like one or two games ago, where they did bring a little bit more pressure. But, uh, Ruddig up, I appreciate your super chat. You got a lot of keys to victory there. If anybody wants to give me hey, some more keys to victory, please go ahead and let me know down in the comments.